Hello, my friends. I am Marietta, and I welcome you to Marietta's Art Show. There are certain milestones I like to commemorate, and creating a new art channel with 100 subscribers in three months and 14 videos is one of them. Let's continue with my introduction, and I will further explain what today's video is all about. In this video, I'll paint a broad picture of what it takes to dive into creating art on YouTube and all the necessary components you have to learn in order to excel in the quality and value of your content. It's no easy task and I invite you to join me on my journey. If you're new to my channel, I thank you for watching and appreciate you give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. It costs nothing and you will help my channel grow so I can spread the love of art to as many people as I can. Consider having me create a commission for you. It gives me great joy as an artist. Let's continue with the art creation and my story. Stay tuned for my special guest toward the end of this video. I'd like to give you a taste of my YouTube art channel journey for one simple reason. I'd like to share my diary with you after three months on YouTube and ending up with over 100 subscribers starting at ground zero. From time to time, I'll continue updating this journey and the lessons I learned along the way. Let me know if you like this idea in the comments below. When I decided to start my art YouTube channel, I knew I would be venturing into an uncomfortable and overwhelming space. In order to grow as a person, improve self-esteem, and face my insecurities, I am no stranger to being uncomfortable, to making choices that stretch my insecurities and make me face my fears. One of my foremost fears is public speaking, is the putting yourself out there being naked and vulnerable, opening yourself up to scrutiny and not speaking well enough. My heart starts racing uncontrollably and my brain freezes to the point that I can't think or speak properly. I want to tame this fear. This reaction my body and mind create in a new environment and try to stop me from having the ability to share my message. Why would anyone choose such a path, especially an artist? Just like every human being, each one of us has a past and a story that has molded our lives to create the unique human that we are. I don't believe fear can be fully conquered, but can be set to the side, allowing freedom of expression to flourish in spite of its presence. So I entered the YouTube arena with certain goals and ideas in mind. As an artist, I wanted to inspire my audience to create art by show and tell and spread the love of art to as many people as I can. Over time, people would click on my website and would make purchases. Perhaps they would commission me to make a special piece just for them. I promised myself I would be open to the ebb and flow my videos show me and notice that videos that have done the best are the ones where I create art and tell a story. They far outperform the instructional style that most artists are making on YouTube. So I changed my style and we'll see how those videos perform. These take even more effort but I'm truly enjoying the composing of the story and learning something new at the same time. It gives me time to contemplate the art piece that I'll be making and inspires my imagination. What I didn't realize at the start, how difficult and encompassing this journey would be. My passion is to create art, but I found myself jumping on a fast track of learning 
and how to make a video. I've never made a video before and had to become proficient and knowledgeable about lighting equipment, cameras, tripods, stands, microphones, and voice quality, removing the echo from the studio, choosing the right editing software, learning how to edit and do it with at least two cameras at the same time, learn how to speak to the camera without stumbling over my words, and finally, how to make the art piece surrounded by obstructions around the table, tripping over cords, making art from uncomfortable angles, and being able to make the video as interesting, seamless, and beautiful. In addition, I had to invest a considerable amount of money, not only on resin supplies, but equipment as well. And that's only the tip of the iceberg. Before I started the channel, I spent countless hours watching resin videos, motivational channels, YouTube entrepreneurs who teach success on YouTube such as Sunny Lenarduzzi, Sean Cannell, Heather Torres, Jillian Perkins, and Katherine Manning, and tried to envision where I stacked up in the midst of all this chatter. I even bought the boss's online course from Sunny thinking it would speed up my YouTube presence and my channel growth. I found myself so busy and bogged down with simply navigating and surviving the growing curve, I had no time left for anything else. It still sits in the iCloud somewhere waiting for me. The common denominator these entrepreneurs have is youth, energy, and they all teach people how to be successful on YouTube. That's all well and fine, but I couldn't find anyone who is an artist sharing their humble YouTube beginnings or their great successes. Of course, many artists on YouTube have successful channels, but how did they get there? Are they making money? Wow, this is such a complex topic that I can only scratch the surface. Although my personal experience with many available platforms has been relatively short, I'm throwing myself into the lion's den experimenting and learning a whole bunch. I can only share my own experiences with you. Before you decide to become involved in social media, you have to ask yourself some basic questions. What is the purpose and goal as an artist to become involved in social media? Are you so passionate to share your art that money doesn't matter for a while? What does matter in your journey? What kind of art do you want to sell? Do you want to sell through a website or another way or a combination of sources? Do you want to teach and be a mentor? How much time are you willing to devote to the endeavor? Do you have endless work ethic and are prepared to persist through ups and downs of the journey? Are you willing to work harder than you've ever worked before? Are you ready to turn criticisms into learning opportunities? Are you a lover of the journey or the final outcome? Is there a final outcome? What is it? Are you thinking big or small? Are you willing to pay the price for what you want? What is success to you? The list of questions is endless. I find my answers change and become more clear as I dive deeper into the journey. My personal mission and purpose is to serve, inspire, and motivate my ideal client. As a byproduct of delivering valuable content, I'd like my clients to commission art pieces and purchase artwork from my website. And who is my avatar, the ideal client? The person who is interested in my art, my story, and the value I bring to their life. The person who has a problem that I can solve. The person whose questions I can answer. The person who understands that art is a personal choice and knowing the artist and what they stand for is important before choosing to purchase their art. The person who loves to watch the creation of artwork and the story behind the art. 
the person who feels empowered by my story to take the steps they need to improve their lives. The person who loves and respects my artwork enough to make a purchase. How does your ideal client find you? Social media marketing holds the greatest number of potential clients in the world. You simply have to tap into the right platform, learn everything you can about how to poise yourself to become noticed, put out valuable content, be tenacious, be consistent, and commit to a long term. That sounds well and fine, but how do you find that perfect client on a social platform when it's filled with so much competition. My personal answer to this dilemma stems from the abundance mentality. If you have a valuable offer that your ideal client is looking for, if you give out value for free, if you share experiences and knowledge unconditionally, if you believe in yourself, then you cannot fail. Cream always rises to the top. The ideal client will find you one by one. They will tell their friends. And as with anything in life, be patient. Be grateful for every one of those supportive people who take time out of their lives to subscribe to your channel and watch your videos. There is no quick fix. YouTube is owned by Google, which is the largest search engine in the world. YouTube is the second largest. The beauty of both being search engines is that they follow a mathematically calculated algorithm that has rules and can be better controlled by an individual than Facebook or Instagram. It's visual, interactive, relational, and opens up the world to your art. Once again, consistency of making one video per week is crucial as well as learning all the ways to produce high quality videos, edit them, keep up with trends and ideas, and so much more. You have to become a student and expert in your niche. The SEO, search engine optimization, keywords, just the right searchable topics, how to title each video and write descriptions so your video is found in the vast ocean of thousands of other videos being uploaded each minute. And at the same time, create art you love and enjoy the entire journey. Is all this scary and overwhelming? Of course it is. Anything that leads to uncharted new territory feels that way for a while. Then over time, things seem to become more routine and easier to grasp. You stop focusing on the nuts and bolts of setting up video equipment, learning how to edit, making the perfect thumbnails, and how to set up your channel. You get back to your creative side and look forward to show the world what you want to share. I'm sure I jumped into making videos before I was ready and started messy, but you have to start sometime, learn from your mistakes, and continue believing in yourself and your message. You only get better with lots of practice. Being involved with all the phases of creating videos and art made me realize so many things. I have come to view myself in a new light. Understanding what drives me and how I am a magnet for undertaking new and uncomfortable endeavors. The learning and doing process made me realize that I can improve my verbal skills and communicate better to bring my points across. That I must stay true to who I am. Don't act like you have a limitless amount of energy when you don't. Work on clarifying your niche and experiment with what works best. Follow what the video history tells you and make more videos on that topic. You are here to serve and inspire. Filming each art piece causes me to improve my art skills and pushes me to keep creating. I find my brain plasticity is evolving and I feel more vital and happy. Even when my motivation is lackluster, the YouTube commitment 
pushes me through the rough patches. And no matter what, keep making art for it fuels the soul. In conclusion, there is no easy or fast way to begin your social media journey. You simply have to start, be consistent, provide valuable content, be creative, be patient, work hard, be tenacious, don't be afraid to try new approaches, embrace negative comments and criticism, and be true to yourself. It is one of a kind learning experience that will benefit you as well as others. And most important of all, enjoy and cherish this crazy journey.
As I stated at the beginning of this video, I want to introduce special guests, Sandy and Jeff. They commissioned me to do this piece for them, and we're gonna do a COVID interview. That means a little social distancing, which is not exactly what I like, but I think it's important to see people's faces, so that's how we're gonna do it. One thing that made me really nervous about this piece is that they didn't have any art in their home, and it's a new home with a pretty neutral palette, and whatever color that I chose ended up being the thing that they're gonna have to go throughout the house. So I asked Sandy what's her favorite color, and she said blue. So I gave her all kinds of blues in this piece. So without further ado, here is Sandy and Jeff. Hi, I'm Sandy, and um, this is Jeff. Hi. We're here to show you our piece that Marietta made for us. We're super excited. This is our first piece of art, actually my very first piece of art. And uh, we met Marietta when we moved to the neighborhood, and I was enamored with her artwork in her home and her creative um, ability, and we thought we would ask her to make something for us. And I'm Jeff, and I have no idea. I've never owned art in my life, so I left it up to the pros, and here it is. It looks beautiful. Yeah. We couldn't imagine a piece uh, to come out better when I picked it up or when I first saw it at Marietta's. I said, wow, I could if I tried to uh, create a piece, I couldn't even put it into words uh, to be that beautiful, and she just did an amazing job. And now we've got our work cut out for us because we have to have her do some more pieces on the rest of our walls. So yeah, thank you so much for having me. Yeah, thank you so much. Thank you, Sandy and Jeff. I am just honored and speechless. That was amazing. And I appreciate you so much. As always, I wanted to give you a perspective of the three pieces we just made. They are 18 by 24 size and they can be placed on the wall vertically or horizontally or even separate. I really enjoy these colors. They're kind of springy, happy, lots of glitz, lots of reflective glass, and I also added a bunch of shells including abalone. So it gives you interest and depth. It just really brightens up the room and makes it spring-like and happy. So I hope you enjoyed the pieces and I'd love to hear from you if you like these colors. I haven't used them before, so I really enjoyed it and I'm really happy with it. I hope you enjoyed watching my art piece unfold and you found my story enlightening. Many people who watch YouTube don't think about the work and the effort that's involved in creating content as an artist. I hope you gained a new perspective and appreciation for YouTube content creators. It's no easy task. Please let me know in the comments below if you'd like to have me dive deeper into specifics of YouTube video creation or prefer stories covering various topics that you may find surprising and enlightening while I create a piece of art. Getting back to my personal quest, as I stated at the start, I enjoy commissions and will work with your color palette and price point. Don't be afraid to ask, you may be pleasantly surprised. I place the links for the supplies in the descriptions below, as well as a link to my art website, marietasart.com. I sell my art pieces on the website, as well as many of the art pieces which I create on this YouTube channel, unless they're commissions, of course. You can contact me by emailing me through my website or commenting down below. Please subscribe to my channel share with your friends and hit the bell so you get notified every time I post a new video. So for now, happy arting, bardzo dziękuję, until the next time.